Hello? So I've had a number of people asking me how I make my brawn cranes. So that's what this video is going to be about. So I've gone ahead and cut all my strands to length. I've cut six strands of white and four strands of orange at 18 feet. Then for the handle, I cut 18 strands of white at 15 feet as well as 18 strands of orange at 15 feet. So the braid you're going to need to know how to make bronc reins is uh, the four strand round braid. I'll show you that here quickly. So first off, you're going to separate your strands into four sections. Three white over there. Three over there. And your split your oranges. So I'll show you how to do this braid. You have all your strands separated. And what you're gonna do first of all is you're gonna take your top strand and you're gonna bring it down into the left hand side of your braid. Like so. Then you're gonna bring your bottom strand up to the right hand side. Somewhere. Then you're gonna from there, you're gonna take your left hand left hand strand, you're gonna bring it over and on top of your braid. Then you're gonna take your right hand uh, strands. Bring it over into the bottom. Just like that. So I'll go over that here again. Top hand strand over and down to the left, like so. You're gonna bring your bottom hand strand up to the right hands then your left hand strands over and on top like so then your right hand strands over to the bottom and that's all there is to it and you just keep on repeating that same sequence all right so once you have all that figured out you're going to split all your strands in the middle and you're going to start from the middle you're going to braid one side of your eye then you're going to braid your other side show you that so when you start braiding, first thing you do is just do about, I'd say, four or six loose braids. Because if you start pulling real tight right away, when you pull a strand here, it'll uh, pull these strands through the braid and you'll have uneven strands at the end which isn't something you want so after you've done a few braids here then you can start tightening down and when you tighten pull your strands tight you want to make sure you pull them tightly and evenly otherwise your braids will look will look very un-uniform. And the reason why I started in the middle, instead of starting doing the entire eye of your rain all at once, is because when you first start doing braids here, these usually these first two or three braids are quite uneven. 
until they clean themselves out over here. So now that your braids are have been started, now you can start going at it. And usually when I'm braiding, making bronc grains or a rope or whatever, I do two sets of braids, then I pull tight. That way, it doesn't take as long instead of just doing one set of braids, then pulling tight, doing one again, pull tight. Doing two at a time and pulling tight. You still have you can still get it nice and neat here. So I'm gonna go ahead and braid this. There, now that I braided oh, about three and a half, four inches here, I can go over, flip it over, and do the other side. So I'll just take my little tie off here. Tie this end down for now, so these strands don't go anywhere, and unbraid themselves. Throw those over there, flip it over. Now you can work on this side. So once again, separate their strands. There you go. Then start on this side. There. Now your first strands that you started braiding, they were on even before. Now that you did a couple of braids here and pulled it nice and tight, it sorted itself out here. That's why I start in the middle. There. Now I can start going.
There we go. We'll check that. Uh, not quite yet. So when you start braiding your eye here, you're going to want to braid at least 7 inches. So your 7 inch eye, that way you have about a 3.5 or 4 inch eye at the end. Keep going with this a little more. There we go. That's better. There, now that you got your eye all braided up, just take off your keep the string here holding those. And separate your colors. Now what you gotta do is just combine them. Like this. So instead of four strands, or two strands, sorry, you're gonna have four oranges and six whites in each braid. Like that. So I'll go ahead there. So when you start braiding your lead here, you're just gonna do a couple of braids here first. You're gonna make sure and then you're gonna pull your strands nice and tight. Pull them nice and tight. That way, these that way your transition from your eye to your lead isn't loose any at all. If there's a stray strand, like say, I'm gonna exaggerate here a little bit. Like say there's a stray strand like that that came loose. It's pretty easy to fix. So all you do is just pull it, find which strand it is right here, and just pull it nice and tight. Same as tightness as uh, the others. <laughs> There you go, and once you made that transition from your eye to your lead, you would just keep on going like that. Do a couple of braids, pull tight.
So you kind of get the gist of it. You just doing that same sequence, uh, sequence, sorry, over and over again. Do a couple of loose braids, pull tight. Do a couple of more loose braids, pull those tight. Until you have uh, this lead nice and long enough. So I'll go ahead and do that, and I'll come back. All right. So I've gone ahead and I braided up the lead. And from the point of your eye to where your handle starts, I usually braid do about 20 inches from the t from the beginning of your rein to the handle. So if you'll see, I've tied on a, a couple of pieces of strings on all my uh, strands here. So when I tie on my, start tying on my strands to build up my handle, I can pull them nice and tight. Keep them nice and tight to the lead here. I'll show you that here right away. So, to tie on your, start building up your handle, so I'll figure out which strands are crossing through the middle first. And it's going to be my orange, so I'll grab my orange here. Just give me a sec. Sorry about that. I had all my strands all tangled up on me. So to uh, build up your handle, I am going to add my orange strands first. So they're all orange strands that way. There you go. And now you're gonna do a braid with your white strands over those uh, strands you just added there. Pull them nice and tight. There you go. And now you add your white strands there. There you go. Now that you've added your strands, do a, a couple of just a three or four braids then you'll have to tighten them down take your time doing this part because if you don't the more you uh the more horses that are ridden with this rain you'll find that it's uh this part really starts stretching and I don't like it when my reins do that. So, and that's why I tied on all these strings here to the strands I built up my lead with. So after I've done a couple of braids, I'll do just a couple more here. There. Now you're going to find your strands, whichever, with the ones with their string attached to it, and you're going to pull them nice and tight. So your handle is firmly anchored to your lead.
couple of loose strands here. Usually there is. Like right there. So just pull it, that strand, find out where it is. Pull it nice and tight as the other ones. Continue tightening it down. Till they're all nice and uniform. Just about there. There we go. Now that that's nice and tight. Anchor down good. You can continue on. There. So do about or four very tight braids here then after that you can start loosening and loosening and loosening more and more so you can get start building your handle which I'll do right now start loosening and this part is fairly easy fairly quick can pull these strings off these strands here as you go along Sorry about that again. Continue on.
Alright. <clears throat> Just coming to the end here. If you can see, there's my shortest strands here. And that's where I'll end my rain. So, to tie off your bronc rain, what I usually do is I usually have two two strands that I put in that I cut that are usually significantly longer than the others. That's why I have lots to tie it off with. So I'll find these two strands. There they are. They're about oh three three and a half feet long. So when I cut the when I when I already went ahead and cut all my strands for my handle, that's what I did. I cut two of those strands for this one. I just did one white and one orange. Cut them a little longer than all the rest of them. That way I can tie them off. So I'll show you how to tie that off now. Just about done. So, to tie off your rein, what you're going to do is you're going to do a, a series of half hitches all the way around. So I'm going to start with my white strand. Do one half hitch here. And when you do your first half hitch, oh, don't pull it too tight, otherwise it'll uh, pull that single strand through your braids and it'll look, it'll look bad. But after your second one, you should be able to pull as tight as you can. So I'll go ahead and tie off with my white strand first. There we go. Till I have about so three quarters of an inch of half hitches there. Then you'll go ahead. Oh, doesn't look like I did. So you find your long orange strand, and you start doing that. It's the same thing with that strand all the way up. All right, just about done. <laughs> then do one more with the white strand just to tie off that orange strand on the outside. There you go. 
Now all you have to do is just trim your excess strands, trim your tassel. I use a big pair of leather shears because I found I could cut through them a lot better than with an exact. And there you have it. An average sized drain at about seven feet long. Hope this video has been useful. Thanks for watching.